What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. What's up you guys? So in today's video, I wanted to talk about Sol de Janeiro, the brand that makes the famous Boom Boom cream that is like one of the most intoxicating scents ever. Um, they have a perfume in this scent and they reformulated it. Um, and I happened to purchase a bottle of it before knowing that they reformulated it. So I have the new formula, reformulated version of it, um, and I also have an old formula bottle. So I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on comparison um, from the new formulation and to the old formula, or compared to the old formulation. Um, apparently the new formula is supposed to last longer, and I do have thoughts on all of this, so let's just get started. So if you don't know the brand Sol de Janeiro, I, don't know where you've been because their stuff is amazing. Um, the Boom Boom Cream, like I showed you earlier, is it's famous. I mean, it's one of the most sexy, beachy, uh, gourmand scents ever. And there are so many dupes out there for this, but I feel like you just can't recreate it. This is, you can't, you can't beat this. Um, and then they also have a body mist in that same scent, the Shirosa 62 body mist. And then I actually purchased this a year ago, I believe, um, the travel size perfume. Um, and back then I feel like this was only $21, but maybe I'm wrong. I think they came out with this in 2020, if I remember correctly. Anyways, um, now they, uh, reformulated it, I guess, to make it last longer. And I, um, actually purchased it not knowing that they reformulated it. I just wanted a big bottle of the actual perfume. I wanted to kind of go over uh, how they compare to each other. So let's start with the packaging. So this is the box it comes in and it's like a little slider box and it's a 50 ml bottle and this uh, retails for $78 which is pretty freaking steep especially considering that their old formula was the same price. Um, the price did not go up, if I remember correctly. It's pretty steep, I, f I feel like, for a 1.7 50ml bottle. Um, but this is the box, and then this is the other side of it. This is what it looks like. And then this is what the bottle looks like. And I think the bottle is beautiful. I mean, it's super sturdy. It has this like really heavy glass at the bottom. Um, I don't know, it's just fun. It has like a disco ball at the top. I love it. I know some people might think it's hideous, but I think it's gorgeous. Um, and then I know that they didn't, the bottle's the same as it was. They didn't change the bottle, so it's always been like this. And then the, the travel size of the new formula is also the same as this. Okay, I'll put the notes for this perfume on the screen up above. Uh, top notes, pistachio and almond. Middle notes of heliotrope, jasmine petals. And base notes, vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood. And so I looked into this and the notes did not change. So the notes are the same, but you guys, this smells like a completely different perfume. It's crazy. Um, I know that um, usually like intense versions of perfume have to have like different notes or something and they usually smell a little bit different um, when you have like an EDT or an EDP of a perfume um, or an intense version. They have, you know, some differences and I feel like that's what they should have done here. I feel like they should have kept the original and they should have made an intense version of it. Both EDP, so they're both supposed to be strong but they're different. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray one on each wrist. I already did this the day that I got the perfume in the mail, so um, I'm gonna do it again and I'll let you know my thoughts. Okay, so left arm is going to be the original formula. And it is just, oh, it is such a beautiful scent, you guys. I could, oh my God, I could just bathe in this, and I do. I have all the body care items for this. It is so gorgeous. And right wrist is going to be this one, the new formula. And immediately they smell different. It's crazy how different they smell. Um, so on first sniff, the OG, when, it fir when it's first opening up, it smells exactly like the Boom Boom Cream. It smells exactly like the, the, the body spray without the alcohol um, 
It's so nice. It's so true to the scent. And then the new one, I can't even put my finger on it. It's different. It's like, it's way stronger immediately. And it's way sweeter. And I don't know if it's more nutty. It's like I'm getting more like of the nutty notes. I don't know. It's a little bit more tart. This one is way more like loud and um, it's like the more energetic version of it. And this one is more like the creamy, like mellow, sexy version. And then this one, don't get me wrong, they're both very sexy. This one is just... I, I don't know. It's sweeter, but in a good way. Um, I personally love them both. I don't know which one I love more. I wish that they could have kept the old formula, like I said earlier, and just had like a new version of it so you can get like the intense version if you wanted. Because so many people are expecting it to be exactly like, you know, what it used to be, just stronger, and it isn't. In my opinion, it is not the same. This one is sharp. It's sharp and it's, it almost tingles your nose a little bit. It's, it's really strong. And so, so I tested the longevity and, uh, the, the old one definitely disappears way sooner than the new formula. So that is really good. This one was actually going strong like hours later after this one. Um, the dry down is just so different for both of them. Um, I love them both. They're both super sexy. I just feel like this is kind of straying away from that, you know, original Sharosa 62 scent. Um, it's still so good though. It's just not, it's just not as true as the original to the scent that we're all expecting. So I'm not upset. Like I really love, I love this new version. I'm not upset at all. I just know that some people are expecting you know, some, like something the same. And maybe it's just my nose. Maybe I can just tell the difference because my, I'm super sensitive to scents and I've been using this, uh, scent for years now. So I could tell right away. The, the moment I sprayed it, I was like, whoa, this is not the same. I am excited to layer. I'm excited to do like a whole layering with all of this and use the cream, the spray and the perfume and just see how it all like meshes well together. I have not done that yet. I'll try layering all of their products and then in the comments below, I will let you guys know how that all mixed together. Um, I haven't had a chance to do it yet. I just got it two days ago. Um, so I will let you guys know. And then if you guys have this uh, new formulation of this perfume, let me know in the comments what you think. Am I crazy? Does it smell completely different? Or is it, is it just me and my sensitive nose and I can like smell something from across the street? Um, it's definitely stronger. They definitely promise they came through with that portion of it. Um, but the scent is a little bit different. Um, but it's good. It's still so good. I still love it. I'm still going to keep it. I'm going to use it up. Um, I just, I don't know. I wish they would have two separate versions. So... You guys, those are my thoughts on this beautiful girl here, the new Charosa 62 from Sol de Janeiro. Um, not new, just new formula. Um, those are my thoughts on that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Bye, you guys.